guys, I'm checking in because all of my roughs are finished and this is the next stage of my comic creation process. For chapter six, I have 36 pages of roughs. No, I'm sorry, for chapter six, I have 32 pages of roughs. Um, and that's a dense chapter for me. Um, I'm sorry, a long chapter for me, but it's also kind of a dense chapter because there's um, two major things that are happening in this chapter. There is Kara repeatedly trying to sneak out of the house and her mom distracting her with chores. And then there is Kara finally being given permission to leave and meeting up with Naomi and Pancake. And um, this took me a while to do, partially because I was out of town a couple times while working on it and it's always a little more difficult to work on comics when you're out of town, at least I think so. Um, but it's finished and it's time to scan it. And um, I use my Canoscan 8800F. Uh, um, I got it for like 80 bucks on Amazon about five years ago. I'm pretty sure they're still for sale. I'm pretty sure they're still pretty cheap. Um, I highly recommend it. It has served me very well over the years. Um, it has always been very good for scanning watercolors. I currently have a, um, a large format Epson as well, which I also use, but I tend to use it when um, my Cano scan is too small to scan something and I can't photo stitch the image together in Photoshop. Um, so with these pages, they're small enough that I was able to scan them all in one batch. And for roughs, um, I think I scan mine at 600 DPI, more from force of habit, but I recommend you scan them at at least uh, 300 DPI. Um, and uh, you can see I write notes in my margins. Well, not on that page, because it's in non-photo blue and the camera. Okay, you can see I write notes in my margins. So when I scan pages, I scan the entire page so I have my notes and I don't necessarily have to keep referring to the pages. Um, so what I like to think about, what I try to keep in mind when I'm doing my roughs is I don't necessarily try for perfect. If it's something I know I can adjust in Photoshop and it'd be correct. So for example, on this page, I think I drew her hand too big for the rest of the shot, but that's something I can easily shrink down and move up in Photoshop so that it looks correct. I also have um, a digital tablet and uh, I will also use that to make drawing corrections as necessary. You can do your entire comic digitally. There are plenty of artists who do. I prefer to work traditionally as much as possible, partially because I just enjoy pencil on paper more so than I enjoy stylus on computer screen or on tablet. Um, but it's really about finding what works for you and unless you're trying to teach yourself a new skill Don't really worry about forcing yourself to do what everybody else does. So um, from this point on I'm going to Make my corrections digitally then I'm going to print out my pages and then I'm going to be working in watercolor And I will check in with you guys at that step